actually not the new year as I'm filming this, but it will be by the time you see it. So happy new year, happy 2022. Let's hope that this year is a bit better than the last two. I hope that you all had a lovely new year, no matter what you did. Who knows what the situation is gonna be at new year, but I hope you had a lovely time nonetheless. And I hope that you're excited to make 2022 your best year ever. I know that's certainly my plan. I thought the best way to start the new year would be to do a little Q and A, life update, plans for this year, etc., etc. So I hope that you're excited for that. If you are, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hopefully, you like the thoughts of what I've got coming in the new year. And without further ado, let's get started. I asked for questions over on my Instagram. You guys sent so many, so thank you so much. I'm always overwhelmed that people actually care about me and my life. So thank you guys for sending them in. If you don't already, then do go follow me over on Instagram. Also, go follow me over on TikTok as well. I'm posting loads of content over there. I'm really focusing a lot of attention on my TikTok at the moment. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is answer your questions and then at the end of the video, have a little chat about what is changing for me in the new year, life updates, what I'm going to do with my channel, all those kind of thing and yeah let's just get started okay this is a good one to start on what is your general daily routine i don't have one and it's something that i have struggled with i am someone who thrives on habit routine doing things at the same time every day is something that i really crave in life and i don't have that at the moment my life consists of filming editing doing stuff for grad fest working at leduca coaching and i love everything that i'm doing but something that i'm going to strive to have more in the new year is a slight bit of routine. I want to get back into working out. I think that's a really easy way to get routine into your life. I'm also going to try and make sure my teaching is on like set days each week to make it easier for me and also easy for the people that I coach because then they can know, okay, Lucy coaches on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday and a Saturday, for example, not just like random days here and there. So I'm going to try and get a bit more structure there. That is my kind of plan to get more daily routine in my life because for the past six months, it's kind of been a bit chaotic, but I think I needed that. As I just graduated, I needed to find my feet and find out what I was doing. And now I know what I'm doing. I can kind of make it into a better structure and make it into a better work-life balance because I've really had zero work-life balance for the past six months. It's just been work and no life. There's a lot about how many auditions have you been to? What shows have you auditioned for recently? Those kind of things. So I can't lie to you guys. Auditions have been a little bit thin on the ground of no fault of anyone. My agent is great. There's just not much at the moment that's right for me i am just kind of working on myself and when auditions come in i'm ready to boom smash it you know that's my kind of mindset people go months without auditions and then they have loads in one go so recently i had an audition for a cruise i'm not going to specify exactly what it was and it was literally like bam 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 for a week whereas i'd had like literally nothing for a few months so that's totally like the way it goes it's always at the times when you're busy that auditions like to come around it's like the audition gods know okay Hey, Lucy has a really busy week. It's her last week in London before she goes home for Christmas. Boom, lots of auditions. So grateful for them, but they always come at the wrong time. But anyway, when auditions come, you know what? I'm in a very lucky situation where I can kind of just like drop everything and like put all my energy into them. So I'm very grateful to be in that situation. So yeah, I haven't had loads of auditions, but the ones that I have had, I've put 110% into. Obviously I've not booked a job yet. Hence why I'm here not telling you that I've got a job. But I know my time will come and I know that when the right thing is there for me, it will happen i'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason okay here's another one did you go to performing arts college before uni or did you go to sixth form so i actually went to like normal sixth form i stayed in school i did a levels i did math history drama French. And yeah, that is what I did. And then I just did like musical theatre out of school at a place called Diverse. I did think I wanted to go to Tring Park for a bit, but going to boarding school at such a young age when your parents live on the other side of the world is a massive thing. And I'm really glad I didn't. I don't think I would have been ready. And yeah, I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Personally, I'm really happy with the way I did it, but I know loads of people that went to performing arts school and performing arts sixth form and absolutely loved it as well. So I guess it's just knowing what's right for you. Okay, here is another one what is your dream musical to be in now this is a question i answer quite a lot because it changes all the time the ultimate dream is thoroughly modern midi always has been always will be but let's look at stuff that's on just now i would love to be in lame is 110 percent i would love to be at a point in my voice where i can play cosette one day and i'm working towards it so gods please 
one day because thank you i mean greece is coming back i would love to be in greece oh my gosh would love that there's so many shows i'd love to be in for me i just want to be in a job that like fulfills me creatively and i enjoy doing i think that's kind of what everyone wants and i think put me in kind of most shows and i'll be happy as larry okay next one who is my mt idol now this is a really good question so i've always loved Saturn foster she has played like every role that i want to play she's amazing and i saw her in anything goes and it was like the best day of my life i would also say another mt idol of mine is lucy jones she is phenomenal she has absolutely slayed any part i've ever seen her in she is so controlled her voice is just flawless she is an absolutely outstanding performer so also yeah lucy jones as well is grad life what i expected yes and no no in the sense of i thought i'd be bored i thought i would be like sat at home twiddling my thumbs thinking what the hell am i gonna do with my time but i am busier now than i ever was in college i think a lot of that is because i have like created opportunities for myself and made myself busy if you guys watch my videos then you know i thrive on being busy i'm a busy person but sometimes i make myself too busy and i kind of shoot myself in the foot but you know what that's life but yes in the sense of i thought i would feel a little bit lost at times i'm someone who gets worried about like if i'm not doing something every second of the day that i'm not going to succeed in life and that's not the case like you need rest time so yeah a bit of both but mainly the thing that shocked me is how busy i am okay this is a good one why do you not live in scotland but call it home so i kind of call three places home i call london home because that's where i live like day to day i call scotland home because we have a home here all my family's here this is where i grew up until i was 11 i'm scottish and i called dubai home because that's where i like grew up for the second half of my childhood and i go home to dubai i have a bedroom in dubai basically where i have a bedroom i call it home so yeah i would say i'm going home to london i'm going home to scotland i'm going home to dubai i just call all of them home because for me home is where your family is and home is where your things are and home is where you feel happy and safe that is those three places to me so that's why i call them all home i know it can be very confusing oh this is nice what's one thing you're looking forward to in 2022 okay is it bad that i'm struggling to think of an answer for this i mean i'm going to dubai in february with this b i'm very excited for that because she was meant to come march 2020 but you know the world had other plans for that i'm also excited to continue making content continue going to press nights that's been crazy continue growing my coaching i don't have any like specific things that i know of yet that are happening in 2022 but i feel like i'm just just excited to continue doing bigger and better things than I did in 2021. Okay, do I have any shows booked to go and see? I actually don't, but I do have a list of things that I want to see. So let's have a look at that. I'm not really someone who books shows in advance. I feel like because my life is a bit chaotic, I don't book things in advance. I just kind of book it on a whim. So I want to see Heather's at the other palace because my friend Hannah's in it and I would love to see that. I need to see Cabaret. Frozen, I need to see Frozen because I just haven't seen it yet. I want to see Pretty Woman because I want to see Amy Atkinson because she's amazing. I want to see Back to the Future. I mean, I've never seen the movies, but I just want to see it. I want to see Moulin Rouge, 100%. I really want to see Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella because I just feel like I've missed out because I've not seen it, but it's now close till February. So that's going to have to be one for the back burner. And I really want to see Prince of Egypt before it closes as well. I feel like you can see so much theatre, but you just never manage to see everything. So yeah, they are the shows that I want to see. I don't have any of them booked. I'm more a rush ticket kind of gal, get the ticket on the day, just like go to the theatre that night. Have you guys got any shows booked? If you have, let me know down below. In the comments, I'm absolutely rambling in this video. So let's do two more questions. Oh, here's a fun one. Are you scared about what the future may hold? A hundred million and ten percent. If you didn't know, my biggest fear is the future. I don't know why. I think because I'm someone who likes to be like organised and in control. That makes me sound like controlling. I'm not controlling. I just like to be organised and on top of things and know what's going on. But you can never know what's going on in the future and i think that's why it scares me okay there's actually two more that i really want to do because they're really good okay so the first one is if you were to suddenly change career what would it be this is really interesting suddenly implies i need to do it quickly so if i was to like really quickly change career i would probably like go and be a drama teacher or something get a pgce and go and be a drama teacher and work in international schools and like travel around the world and do something like that but if i was to like properly change career i would probably probably want to like go back and do history or law or something like that and like work as 
a boss queen in a suit and designer heels and a designer bag and like strut into the boardroom and be a proper icon and like run a massive law firm or something like that. I feel like that's what I'd want to do if I was to change career completely and like have a massive office and like be a queen and like be amazing at what I do. I would love that. And the final question is, do you miss Erdang? Yes and no. If you told me tomorrow I have to go back and do another year of training, I'd be like, no, please don't make me go back because I've done my bit there. I've done it. I loved Erdang. It was amazing. I loved drama school. I loved training. I loved the routine of it. That's probably what I miss the most. But I'm more me as a person now than I ever was in training. I feel like grad life has really allowed me to like flourish as a person and be who I am and be confident in who I am. And it's not that drama school hit that out of me at all. It's just that it's a very pressured environment. There's a lot of people around you who are aiming towards the same things. And there's a lot of like politics when it comes to drama school and stuff like that. I've been there, done that, closed the chapter. Thank you, next, moving on. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Quickly before I end this video, I just wanna talk about my kind of plan to my channel in the new year. I kind of felt like at the end of last year I was getting a little bit stuck in a rut with a lot of the content I was making. I wasn't really loving it myself. My videos that I love the most are my vlogs. You guys seem to be enjoying them more and more as well. So I'm going to continue the grad life diaries, do lots of vlogs, lots of like fun content rather than just like sit down information content. Obviously I'm still going to do stuff about auditions but I just don't want it to get dry. So I hope that you guys don't mind me mixing it up a bit. Let me know like down below what you think about vlogs and stuff like that. I just love vlogging. I think it's really really fun and I personally selfishly love having the memories to look back on so yeah that's my kind of thoughts make it a bit more vloggy personal lifestyle but obviously still have a side portion of drama schools and auditions how does that sound to you guys let me know down below in the comments what you think thank you so much for all your love and support over the last year if you're not already subscribed then please do subscribe i'd love to have you with me for 2022 i'm so excited to have all of you that already subscribed with me for 2022 i love you all very very much i wish you the best year ever and i'll see See you very, very soon. Bye!